Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to the One Word series where we discuss the impact of a single word on a verse of the Quran. Today I'd like to talk about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Isn't it amazing that when he started out, he found such intense opposition, such intense opposition from his own tribe, from his own family, from his own relatives, from his own friends that lived in Mecca. Not only that, but eventually he found opposition from all of Arabia. But over a period of over 20 years, all of these people, they entered, they came to the Prophet ﷺ humble and they entered the folds of Islam. So how did this happen? What was it about the Prophet ﷺ that made this happen? What was it that attracted these people that were once upon a time his enemies, that they were leading armies against him, that these same people, they came to him humbly and they accepted the message of Islam? What was it about him that did that? It wasn't because of the number of battles he fought, because the most number of Muslims, they actually entered during the, the peace treaty of Hudaybiyah. And this is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He talks about this. And He says, فَبِمَا رَحْمَةٍ مِّنَ اللَّهِ لِنْتَ لَهُمْ وَلَوْ كُنْتَ فَضًّا غَلِيظَ الْقَلْبِ لَنْ فَضُّوا مِنْ حَوْلِكَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says to the Prophet sallallahu that had it been that you were harsh and hard-hearted towards the people around you, then they would have ran away from you. And so the quality of the Prophet ﷺ that kept so many people close to him and that they wanted to follow him, it was his softness, his gentleness, and his kindness. And the word I'd like to focus on here is the word ghalid. Allah says that had you been ghalid, then they would have ran away from you. And the word ghalid, it doesn't just mean harshness, but it means to treat someone as an enemy. So if someone considers that themselves to be an enemy, and you consider them to be an enemy forever, then that person will never want to follow you, that person will never want to listen to you. But if you do what the Prophet ﷺ did, and that even though someone considers themselves to be your enemy, you treat them kindly, you treat them gently, you treat them with the, the cleanest of hearts, then that person eventually he will become your closest companion, he will become your closest friend. And so I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He softens our hearts and that He enables us to be gentle and kind to those around us, even if they may not like us. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He forgives our shortcomings. Jazakumullahu khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.